I've had an idea for a new series of videos, walkthrough videos, uh, where I'm going to look at unusual organic mechanisms. So obviously your specification has got some set organic mechanisms that you have to know, but then the exam board can always ask you um, sort of unusual ones where they'll present you with the information and the question and you've got to make sense of it there and then. So most years there's something like that on an exam paper and I know my students don't like them and I'm sure my students are like every other student in the country so um, I thought it would be a good idea to maybe have a look at these in a bit more detail so let me know what you think um, so I'm just going to do this one for now and if it gets a decent reaction I'll make some more okay so as always the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first and I hope you like it and if you haven't already subscribed why not right okay we're going so we're told at the top of the question so methyl benzene um, reacts with sulfur trioxide to form D we've got the structure for D up there and it's also repeated at the bottom as well um, and we're told that the electrophile in the reaction is the SO3 molecule and I've just written up there a reminder that an electrophile is an electron pair acceptor. So we've got to come up with a mechanism for the formation of D, um, curly arrows, etc., and the structure of the intermediate. So this mechanism is very much like the electrophilic substitution mechanism that we see uh, when benzene reacts with nitric acid, with haloalkanes, and that sort of thing. So we're just going to kind of use the information we know from that mechanism to help with this one. So first thing I'm going to do is take a pair of electrons, so curly arrow from the um, delocalized ring of pi electrons to that slightly positive sulfur. And if you have a look at the um, product, you can see that this double bond um, in the SO3 molecule has become a single bond with an O minus on it. So what's happening there is the pair of electrons or a pair of electrons in the SO double bond has been repelled completely onto that oxygen. So you can see I've drawn up the intermediate there. Um, so again linking it to the, the mechanism that we do know about, so reaction of benzene with an electrophile, uh, we've got the partial electron cloud uh, with the positive charge in and we're now shown the hydrogen um, that is was already attached to the benzene ring. So all we need to do now is generate the product and that H plus ion. So what happens is a pair of electrons in that CH bond back into the ring and that would reform the delocalized ring of pi electrons and it would kick out that hydrogen as an H plus ion. So let me know what you think of that kind of video if you think it's going to be helpful. Um, I've found another eight questions that I can turn into videos very easily, um, but I'll only do it if, if you think it's worth doing. All right then, cheers, bye.